Hey, hey, and welcome to the Work Smarter, Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, a.k.a. The Design Ninja. And this is the place where you can develop your ninja skills with Illustrator, Photoshop, InDesign and more. And in this movie, what we're going to do is we're going to create a sketch look from a photo in Photoshop, but in a single layer using my own TDN technique. Now, I blogged on a version of this a couple of years back and I refined it after uh, a session a couple of weeks ago and changed it up a little bit. And so now it truly is the completely TDN technique. It's very fast, very effective. So let's get going. What I've got here is I've got an image. This one happens to come from Adobe Stock, and it's by Gino Santamaria, Portrait of a Beautiful Woman, which indeed uh, she is. Okay, so what happens here is, first of all, this is just a flat background layer, so I'm going to turn it into a smart object. So I'm just going to right-click on it here and choose to convert this to a smart object like so. That is the single most important step in here because it makes everything else editable. I'm then going to pop up to the filter menu, come down to blur and choose Gaussian blur. Just here, notice it's no layer, no adding additional stuff, just the same thing. And I'm gonna go for about four pixels here, something like that, four or five pixels. Let's have a look, just make it just a shade blurrier there and hit okay. Brilliant. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna come over to the layers panel and you can see it's added as a smart filter and I'm gonna come across to the filter blending options here and just double click on those small sliders and change the blend mode to divide like so and bang. You'll see straight away it starts to take on that sketchy appearance. Now there's still some color in there and I could tune that still further just by double clicking on Gaussian blur here and then just pulling that up a bit to see how that looks and down a bit just to tune it however you want and you can do that infinitely. Okay, that's just fine. I'm gonna leave it where I've got it uh, just now. Maybe just dial it down just a shade there and hit okay. The next step is to bring in the camera raw filter here in Photoshop CC. So filter, camera raw filter, like so. And that opens up here in its own special window. And on the right hand side from the tabs, what I'm going to do is come across to HSL grayscale and then choose to convert this to grayscale, which it's done for me just now. You can even tune this by making the component colors lighter and darker as required, just by tuning uh, these sliders. But that's fine as it is. I'm then going to come back to the basic tab here and dip down the exposure a bit just to make it a bit darker there and push up the contrast. That's starting to look really, really good. I'm just going to zoom in here just a bit more just so you get a better idea of how this is looking, just using the zoom tool there. Focus on the eyes. They're the most important part, really, of any face. And just drop down the clarity just a shade there just to soften that effect outwards. And then I'm going to add a graduated adjustment just to create a focal area on the face. So I'm going to choose this radial adjustment here. Aim for more or less the middle of the face and click and drag outwards and keep that kind of elliptical so it more or less follows the contour of the face. You can hover over the edge and rotate that around a bit if you want to and reposition it like so. And then I'm going to just increase the exposure just a little bit more there just to get rid of the grainy lines on the face here and drop the contrast down. Just a shade, perfect, okay. And of course you could even add a bit of dehaze here which would kind of get a bit more crispness out of the eyes. Hit okay and that's it, you're there. You've got the sketchy look that you need in a single layer. Everything there is non-destructive. And if you want to, you can take it a little bit further and reintroduce some of the photographic image to colorize this. Let me just show you here. If I go for the layer mask attached to the filters, make sure you're painting with black. And it does help if you're using a brush like the one I'm using here. This is one of the Aaron Blaze uh, brushes. I'm just gonna make the size slightly smaller there and drop down the opacity 
to about 20%, just tap two on your keyboard to do that, and then just start to introduce some color. I tend to work around the eyes first, okay, and then sort of move into other areas and keep building with successive strokes just to get some of that photographic content back. Let's just do that over here. Have to be careful so she doesn't end up looking uh, like she's been in a brawl here, but you can see there that it's it's pretty easy for me to do that. Focus on the lips next, there we go, and start to bring that in. And just get enough so it looks like it's been roughly toned across there like so. And if I bring a bit more in, I'm just gonna dial this up to 40% uh, there, tapping four on my keyboard. Bring that in like so, and there you go. Got this lovely evolving sketch look. The brush helps it an awful lot uh, to do that, and it's better to have low opacity and build it up to be honest, but there you go. And just very, very quickly, using the TDN technique for a sketch look in Photoshop, you can get that going in just minutes on a single layer. And that's it, we are done for now. Don't forget to subscribe, reach out to me via Twitter or my Facebook page, those details coming along in just a moment. Please do spread the word, keep on watching, and until next time, see ya.